Okay, let's uh, get started on uh, building this bull head. Um, there's the manual. Let's uh, go from there. Let's see what uh, parts we're going to need. Oh, great, turn buckle straight up. Uh, don't have a servo here yet. So uh, I'll just uh, put that aside for the moment and let's get uh, part, bags of parts out and see where we go. Yeah, I'll leave the servo horn to the end. So we're going to start with the uh, chassis and let's build up around the chassis. See how we go. All right, so I'm going to need a, a few of these brass bits, I'm guessing. It's a trusty knife out. Drive shafts, some bits, some uh, giant pivot balls. Those Put those aside. Um, those might be a little bit too big, but let's see how we go. So, which one do we need first? Uh, these are the. Uh, we are going to go with the. Uh, Big bag of bits. So, yeah. All right. So, um, I'm going to need to trim off a few of these little bit of. So that's parts from parts tree A, part tree A. Let's have a look at the manual, see what uh, they think part tree A is. There we go. That's the A piece. And A3, or A5 has already fallen off the parts tray. Excellent. We're going to need, uh, that's for the uh, servo. We won't need that one just yet. We are going to need. So these are the um, pivot balls for the main suspension links are going to go inside here. And we're going to need uh, Wow, there are bigger ones than these. So these are the six mil ones, so they're going to go here and here. But there are some eight millimeter ones somewhere. Oh, they're there. Black ones. All right. Wow. Wow, with a flat blade. That's interesting. Don't think I've seen those for a while, but. Let's get stuck into it. Alright. So you can just see those uh, metal plates inside there. Inside here. Uh, everything's way too red. And uh, the pivot balls for the drag... Uh, drag links fit in there nicely so the next one is this plate and there is a space in here for nuts but it's not showing the nuts it's just showing this plate where it screws in. Uh, I guess we'll just go with a plate. Uh, 
it's not like that. Let's mark that. That one screws in there, and then there are nuts on that one as well on the inside. So. There's the chunky brushed ESC. The uh, T106BK. And. Yeah. So the next step is to put uh, this brace across the uh, front here and mount the uh, body posts to it. So let's these where I'm trimming the um, plastic off the chrome bit where it was attached to the part tree. I'm going to come back tonight before I uh, wrap up and uh, touch those up with the Molotov pen which is a chrome texture sort of thing. Um, it looks like that liquid chrome. It actually gives you quite a decent little effect. It's really hard to tell where you've done it unless you really look. Um, you know, from a foot away you wouldn't tell easily. So it's quite good. Um, to use for plastic models, this would be a perfect ap application of it. bumper which goes here oh yeah bumper's going to go there and that actually has to go that away that's better Starting to take shape. Next step is going to be um, battery boxes. So that's these two. Um, or this one, and then that one's a clip on one. Let's have a look. might not need these if you uh, were to use a shorty pack. Uh, probably need another mechanism for holding the battery in there. So, doing that. It's little flange nuts have got knurled walls or knurled flanges so um, once they start uh, getting close to the uh, plastic they'll just hold themselves as you tighten it beautiful very nice okay so that's that step uh, next step is axles all right let's put that there so we don't lose it it doesn't ask for it just yet. Uh, uh, looks pretty darn good. Pretty good reflection there. You could read the manual. 
Yeah. Funky. All right. All right, let's put that away. Some spaces we're not going to use. We're going to use the spaces, but we're not going to use the. Uh... No, I think we're going to use the spaces, but we're not going to use the plastic bushings. So the next few steps are to uh, put the gearboxes together really keen to get those gearboxes in because I want to see what they look like but um, yeah let's do another couple of steps let's see how far we get so that's those move those out of the way. So the next steps will be with these. I'll do them slightly out of order because I just want to see them closed off to see how big these things are going to end up being. And uh, we'll finish them off next time.
two gear boxes roughed up. So the next step is to actually fill them with gears and mount the motors to them and that'll be the axles um, done. Then we'll attach those to the main chassis and we'll go from there. But uh, that's not going to be tonight, that's going to be a different night. Cool. We'll leave it there.